Hello YouTubers, and welcome to yet another Doctor Who action figure review. In my latest review, I am going to take a look at Martha Jones, who is the companion of the Tenth Doctor during Series 3. So, this is the first companion which I've reviewed for quite a while now, with the last companion I reviewed being um, Captain Jack who came with the empty child you may remember that video with the uh, bad quality uh, again I, I apologize about that sorry about that I'll never do it again so looking at the detail it looks pretty good Martha Jones you know the figure looks like her looks like Freeman Adjuman uh, and the costume pretty nice it's the costume that she wore from the Shakespeare code gridlock um, Daleks in Manhattan evolution of the Daleks um, and I think she wears it at the end of the series as well uh, but her hair's all down because as you see on this figure um, her hair's like tied up and then we just have a look at the detail of the hair it's pretty nice I say it looks accurate um, the earrings are uh, nicely detailed they look like how they did in the show and got this piece of her going down the face here uh, on my figure uh, the left eye looks kind of wonky um, I don't know how that happened but overall it does look like Freema Adjuman but I don't know what it is with the companions you don't really pay as much detail if you know what I mean because like I pointed out in my Rose Tyler from series 1 review uh, which I did or what, which I also did ages ago um, I said that it wasn't well it did resemble Billy Piper but it wasn't brilliant if you know what I mean and I think the same goes for this figure as well but the costume is pretty nice you've got the jeans here um, they don't feel like jeans but they look like jeans it's pretty good so you've got all these creases on the legs here and like Rose Tyler which I just mentioned um, the uh, jeans go over the shoes. In fact, after I make this video, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna put links below this video so you can check out the other companions what I've done so far. So the jacket is all nice. It's got like a shiny effect. You can just see. We just hold it up into the camera. It won't really shine for some reason. There we go, that, that looks pretty good. There we go. And here we can just see part of a shirt. Uh, the necklace is nicely detailed. And we take a look at the back. That's what she looks like at the back and the shirt comes out here and that's pretty much all the detail so it's nicely detailed uh, body but I thought that the uh, head could be better but oh well the articulation like normal figures this does a 360 degree turn um, this does a 360 degree turn uh, the elbow goes up and down 
uh, knees bend, feet don't because of the jeans. Uh, the waist does move, and that's pretty much it. And the hands also do a 360 degree turn. So, for detail and articulation, especially on the body, it is very good. And on the shelf, it's a nice figure. If we just uh, put Martha with the Tenth Doctor, this is how I pose them both on the shelf. And bear in mind that on my shelf, I've got the TARDIS behind them. So it resembles the uh, TV advert which promoted Series 3, if you can remember that far back. So that's my action figure review of Martha Jones. If you enjoyed this review, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, likes and subscribe thank you very much for watching